feels like feels like I'm crucified. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you male or female? Male. Mm -hmm. Where are you? It's like an open hill area. Mm -hmm. yes. There are people in the distance, but most I just don't not focused on anything other than the pain. Mm -hmm. So I want you to focus on your body. Tell me what's happening with your body. My arms are outstretched to the sides mm -hmm. and are there's ropes around my wrists and my legs are tied yes. to the vertical. There's a vertical stretch of it's like, it's like wood. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yes. And what's happening that's making you cough? What do you sense? It's the sand. Mm -hmm. Is it blowing? It's it's getting in my mouth. It's also mm -hmm. blood. It's mm -hmm. blood. There's blood in the back of my throat. Yes. And who's around you? There are other, other, other men. Mm -hmm. I want you to notice if the other men around you are also in the same position as you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are they alive? Some are dead. Mm -hmm. Some are screaming. Some are crying. Yes. Some are praying. Yes. But I'm just quiet. I'm just connecting in to my connecting to spirit. Yes. And I'm trying to leave my body before I can. I'm trying to leave my body. Yes. And what happens when you can't leave your body? I just feel more pain. Mm -hmm. So I want you to notice this pain. Where is it that you're feeling it the most? In my back and at the back of my head. Mm -hmm. It feels like my arms are being ripped off of my shoulders. Yes. And my vertebrae are being pulled apart. Mm -hmm. Yes. Continue. My head, is, my head is so heavy. I can't hold my head up. Mm -hmm. It's the strain of having to hang my head. And yes. there are fluids. There's fluid in my. There's blood in my mouth. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm thirsty, so I'm swallowing, and I'm trying to. I just it's like the days are passing. I just see it's kind of like fast forward. Yes. The sun rising and falling. Yes. How many times has the sun risen and fallen while you're there? It's been seven days. Mm -hmm. Yes. I just don't want to be here anymore. Mm -hmm. Yes. What, what happens next? A being comes and walks up to me, but it looks like a human being, but it mm. doesn't look like a person. Mm -hmm. It looks like a spirit. Yes. And they're dressed in a white gown and they're radiating as if it's almost like spirals of energy coming off of their body. Yes. And a halo around their head in this gold luminance that just sort of sings in the environment. And it's dark. And no one else seems to see it, but I mm -hmm. can see it almost through. Yes. My eyes aren't open. It's like I'm seeing it through my, with my eyes closed. And can you communicate with this being? Yeah, they're saying it's time to come home. Mm -hmm. What do you do next? They reach with their hand up to me, but my hands are tied and I'm trying to say that I can't. Yes. What happens they next? Just, they just say, take my hand. And so I feel like suddenly I'm with them and I'm gone. It's mm -hmm. like I'm just gone. So I want you to think about all of this. What's been the most difficult moment of all of this? Just the feeling of being abandoned. Mm -hmm. And by the people that blamed me for something that I wasn't responsible for. Yes. 
I was just trying to help people. Good. So listen carefully. I'm going to count backwards from three to one. When I get to number one, you will go back to the moment in which all of this began to find out why you got into that situation, what led to that. But this time you're going to experience everything fully and with detail. Three, feeling the feelings. Two, and one. How does this all begin? Where are you? It's like a commune of families mm -hmm. in a sheltered enclosure. It's like a enclosed city in yes. a kind of, feels deserted, but it's like we're enclosed. Notice where it is that you are in the world. Are you on Earth? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Look at the globe. Where are you? Uh, it's like in... It's an area of the Middle East. Mm -hmm. And what year is this? See the number in your mind. One at a time. 202 Common Era. Mm -hmm. And what do they call you? What is your name? It's like Aaron. Mm -hmm. How old are you, Aaron? I'm 12 right now. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this place in which you live. Who do you live with? My family, my sister. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your life, Aaron. Uh, we learn the old texts and we play. Mm -hmm. I don't like yeah. the maths. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you like, Aaron? I like to sit under the stars and study the stars. Mm -hmm. They feel like home. Yes. Tell me more about your life. My father's a teacher. In what does he teach? He teaches maths. <laughs> <laughs> so he must not, not be very happy with you. He says that I must learn the mathematics in order to understand the world. Yes. And mother sings. Hmm. She sings the harmonies and hymns from the ancient times. Do they sound so beautiful? They're remembered. Yes, they're beautiful. We harmonize together. Mm -hmm. How does it sound when you sing? Uh, my sister says it's pretty. Mm -hmm. And the elders say that I'm not ready yet, but they tell me that I should focus on my other studies, but I can see in their hearts that they like the singing. Yes. Are you happy there, Aaron? Yeah, I don't want to leave. I want to stay. Mm -hmm. Why would you have to leave your family? When we are old enough, we need to go and we need to pass on the word mm -hmm. and the wisdom. And where does this wisdom come from? The old times. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about what is written in the texts? It's the way of creation, it's the way of life, it's the way of love. Mm -hmm. It's the way of the truth, it's the truth of who we are as a civilization, as a people, yes. as a collective consciousness. It's why we came here, why we are here, and where we will be going. Yes. We have to keep it alive because it will be remembered eventually. Mm -hmm. And how is it that you create? What does the text say about that? We create from love. Mm -hmm. Create from life energy. We need to be full with life energy to create. And at your age, are you able to create from love? Yes, the children are... We're really good at it. Mm -hmm. But we have to learn everything. 
we have to do our studies first before we can I feel I feel as if I should already be able to do the other things that the elders do but we need to wait we need mm-hmm. to we need to learn patience and to understand why first mm-hmm. not simply do and develop and develop skills that will help us to meet people in the world who are lost who need yes. guidance and it's learning we have we have empathy and love but it's to learn compassion and how to how to use words how to use the word to communicate to people's hearts that they will receive what they need to receive mhm and when you grow up will you be a teacher like your father he, mother says i won't stay though she says i have to go outside mhm she says i can't stay here i have a purpose elsewhere but mm-hmm. father wants me to stay as long as possible i can feel his fear of me leaving mhm i can Very... see he came back he went out and came back he wasn't he wasn't happy outside yes i feel his fear very good so i'm going to count to 3 when i get to number 3 you'll be older and you tell me what's happening that's important 1 2 and 3 where are you i'm standing in the middle of the there is the elders they're all arguing and i'm standing in front of them it's like a meeting they're trying to decide whether or not i can go how old are you now i'm tw- i'm i'm just turned 23 mhm is that a significant age uh t- i was meant to leave at 21 and they've kept me longer why is that It's like they want to protect me. There's something they some of them are scared that I will I hit me hearing like I'm too much. Mhm. I know too much. There's too much that I've got the saying I It's almost as if they feel like I'm dangerous if mm-hmm. I were to go and share some things. They don't trust me. But I can hear my mother. She's she's older and she's quiet, but she's speaking on my she's on my right-hand side. She's standing with me and she's speaking on my behalf. I'm not allowed to speak for myself. My father's passed away. He's he passed away. I think this is why they're arguing is that they need me to stay in his place. Mhm. But I know that I'm not meant to stay here. Yes. And it's making me feel really ill, like I feel sick. Tell me about that. Why is it that you feel ill and sick about this it's, decision? It's like their fear projected towards me is making me feel ill. Mhm. It's like they they're becoming it's this time at this time on earth things have become incredibly volatile and there's a lot of dissent and corruption and they're concerned that i could be myself corrupted but i feel whilst i feel ill i can i feel very calm feel so much energy rushing through me and i'm hearing it's like i'm hearing consciousness whilst they're all talking it's almost as if i feel like they've lost their way mhm there's no point in me staying because people know where we are now and a lot of families have already left and there's only a few families remaining and it's as if they're trying to hold on to the old ways when things need to change 
Yes. We need to evolve. We need to go out into the world because otherwise the information will be lost. Mm -hmm. And this group that you belong to, this family, do you have a special name for the teachings that you teach? it feels like the Essenes mm -hmm. we don't use that word that's what the Romans called us though mm -hmm. so tell me what a... happened what happens when they find out about you and your, and your people what would happen they're hunting people mm -hmm. they're, they're basically families have gone to different parts of the world. Some have gone east, some have gone west. Some have even gone to the south in the Africas. Yes. The African countries. Just to try and salvage. It's almost like we've taken the information, um, like physic physical scrolls mm -hmm. to different places on the earth just to salvage as much as possible because now do you have any of these scrolls or do you keep the information within you the families are responsible for certain uh certain a certain amount of of these of these scrolls and it's also why the oral wisdom like actually what is passed down through the teachings is so important because mm -hmm. we're like a living library and why we need to know and why each family is precious all the lineages are precious but also you know it's not just the families we bring in people that need help we bring in people that want to learn as well children especially orphans mm -hmm. so everyone has a piece of the wisdom so yes. as to maintain it now, the elders seem to think that you're very important. Do you also do anything else besides hold this wisdom? Do you have any abilities that are very special? I think that's why my, the, my mother is saying, I think because of the prophecies, mm -hmm. it's almost as if, and it's also the teach, it's... Um, It's what I say and my voice, something to do with the prophecies and the communication, the way I communicate. Mm -hmm. And it could probably have to do with the fact that I have rebelled. <laughs> mm -hmm and said that we need to share this with more people because I can see what's going to happen. Yes. The degeneration of consciousness has already been happening as we know in terms of the history. Mm -hmm. It's not going to improve. In fact, it's going to increase more and more affecting more and more people and the suffering i suppose yes my mother is saying pointing to them saying that it's almost as if because of the healing ability as well they're saying this is not something to hide anymore there are people that need help Mm -hmm. I'm actually not allowed to say anything on my behalf. She has to speak for me. And it's making me feel incredibly tense. Yes. But also calm with the energy moving through me. Because I know I'll leave. Even if they don't give me permission, I'm just going to go. I know what I need to do. I know what my mother, my father, and all my teachers that have seen the potential in myself and the other children know that I'll need to go. Mm -hmm. and do because staying is not an option anymore 
Very good. So I'd like for you to close right now. And I'm going to count to three. And you'll go to the next moment in time in which you are impacted in that life. One, two, and three. Where are you? I'm traveling. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself or is there anything, anybody with you? There's a few people with me. Mm -hmm. We're talking. It's like we're on a main thoroughfare moving into one of the cities. It's like we're in between mm -hmm. locations. Yes. And we're laughing and enjoying the time, but I can feel my hands burning. It's like I know there's someone that needs help and it's like signaling to me. Mm -hmm. It's almost like my body is preparing. Yes. What is the energy that you're feeling in your hands right now? It's like um, pure, pure energy. It's like raw energy. Mm -hmm. What do you um, do with this energy? It is transformed and transfigured into whatever living energy is needed to help people. Mm -hmm. Yes, I what can happens? See, like fast forwarding to a moment when there's someone kneeling down. And they're weeping. It's like they're outside of a house. It feels as if someone has just passed away and they're grieving. And I've just placed my hands on the back of their neck and on their shoulder. And I can, and I'm just helping them to ground and their heart rate to calm down and their body to stop shaking. And I'm looking into their eyes and speaking to them softly. Yes. And, and then there are others watching, other family watching, crowding around in a circle but at a distance. Mm -hmm. And then the person's standing up and then, yes, just holding the person, just holding them. This is the one that's grieving? Held. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then... I just smile and walk away and then I could see some people following me <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and I just say thank you. I'm just saying thank you yes. and they're offering me food mm -hmm. um, yes. and then yes, I th feel that's a way that they say thank you. I didn't expect anything but they said for me to join them. Mm -hmm for a meal and then I eat and I go and I move on. Yes. So you've brought peace to that person. Yes, I can see them smiling and at peace with mm -hmm. what is. They're grieving, but they're sitting at my right with other family at my left and mm -hmm. we're around a fire outside the, it's like a sand, it's like a mud brick. Mm -hmm. Home with a flat, with a flat ceiling, roof, and yeah, lanterns mm -hmm. around. Yes. And it's peaceful. Very I'm good. Very, I'm very happy here. Very good. So let's move forward now to when things begin to get a little different. I'm going to count to three when I get to number three. Things are beginning to change. One, two, and three. Someone is saying for me to run. I've just been, and I'm refusing to run. What has happened? I'm just standing and talking. I'm just talking. I'm just people there's a small crowd around me and we're all just talking about philosophy and wisdom and and just sharing and yes someone asks me to sing and i start singing and then at a distance it's like there are Feels like people that I know 
mm -hmm. people and I can see soldiers and them running towards me and the others are saying panicking and I'm feeling calm but I'm also feeling the fear and panic of others mm -hmm. and they're saying for me to run we all need to run yes and I'm saying I'm not going anywhere I have nothing to fear and the soldiers grab me there's a woman here and other men and I can see that they're regretful it's like they have I start to feel angry it's like they're blaming me for something like a death of someone yes I haven't it's like they're accusing me of some atrocity that I just can't even compute mm -hmm. And the others are running away and I'm here by myself. And suddenly a bag is put over, it's like a Hessian bag is put over my head and my hands are tied and I'm dragged away and I mm -hmm. don't know where I'm taken, just somewhere cold. Yes. So allow yourself to now come into that place. Get your bearings. Where are you? like in a stone chamber. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself in this chamber? There's three other men I can feel and sense their energy. Yes. And I've heard them speaking, but I don't speak to them. I stay at the other side. Mm -hmm. And I am just sitting cross-legged, my hands tied and chained Mm -hmm. They're tired. Yes. And I'm just in a state of meditation. Mm -hmm. What happens next? I can feel my mouth is parched. I've refused food and water. I can channel my life force energy so that I don't need food and water because I can smell the... I can smell that the food and water isn't good to take into my body. It would do more harm to eat it than to not eat it, mm -hmm. consume it. But I do need to just I only get up to go to just to go to the bathroom, which is just in the corner. Mm -hmm. That's all. All right. Move to a moment now where you're being taken from that chamber. I haven't seen any light since the day they arrested me. I've had mm -hmm. the bag on top of my head around my, it's almost like, no, I've been blindfolded. Yes. And I'm being dragged with some other men it's just a long way. I don't know how long we've walked. Mm -hmm. Are they saying anything to you while you're walking? Just jeers and I've been spat on. Mm -hmm. um, my neck and my back is raw. It feels like I've been whipped or something. Mm -hmm. Yes, continue what happens next like I I feel like I was humming or something I was trying to to just soothe and keep my energy clear and myself focused and I was just creating tones with my voice mm -hmm. just soft enough that only I could hear but it seems like someone else could it was like one of the soldiers and they punched me and it's made my mouth bleed yes and that's when I start to feel queasy and really dizzy and sick. And then I just am completely disoriented. I can't see anything. Mm -hmm. Yes, continue. What happens next? They start to... 
I feel like it's just ascending to a point. And that's when they lay us down and start tying us. Yes. First it's the arms, then it's the legs. And they, then they, once they've done that, they cut the robes and the material from our body. Mm -hmm. So we're just raw skin under the sun. What happens next? I start to get really scared now. Mm -hmm. I actually feel fear. I actually feel panic. Yes. And I can't get any, I can't move. And I'm completely restricted. And this is when I start truly praying mm -hmm. internally. I can hear the others, but I'm just blocking everything else out. I'm just completely focused, focused on myself, my own breathing just trying to stay as calm as possible because I know if I start to lose focus, I, I will. I haven't eaten or had water for days and I know that. It's just going to mean that I experience more suffering when this is something that I know is not going to harm me beyond my body. It's just this is just my body. Yes. But it's still affecting me, especially with the soldiers. Yes. There's a crowd around and I I can I can barely see. It's almost as if just the glare of the sun of the morning sun. It's enough to just completely obscure everything just to shapes and shades of color. What are they saying to you as you're there? I just hear all these words to everyone, not to myself, but just mm -hmm. to all those that are around. Deceiver, murderer, heathen. Mm -hmm. But also As you others hear those praying. words, deceiver. Okay. Do you recognize any of those that are there? Do you recognize there's, their souls? There's that woman again. Mm -hmm. There's that woman again, the one that accused me, even though she was a friend. Mm -hmm. She was actually yeah. from the place I came from. Mm -hmm. The community. She was Look actually into her there. soul. Mm -hmm. Look into her soul, in her eyes. Do you recognize that soul? Yes. Does she seem familiar? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel regret in Very her good. heart. Mm-hmm. It's like she was protecting herself. Yes. Good. So I'd like for you to just go ahead and feel the body as it begins to go through the death process. What's the first thing that goes? Just feel like I just peel away from my body. Mm -hmm. It's like I peel away and I, in a blink, I'm just standing on the earth with that being mm -hmm. again. Good, so as you take a moment now and you are a soul and you look at that body, I want you to talk to all of those who accused you. I want you to say your peace once and for all. Speak your truth to them. What do you want to tell them? Those that called you deceiver, murderer, heathen. What others, choose, what others choose to do with their lives is not the responsibility of those that choose to help them. I was there to serve, to help, to guide, to support, to love. How they chose to take that 
to apply themselves to what was shared with them out from that love, from that wisdom, was completely their choice. They were completely responsible for themselves. And some people, sickness is not a curse, but to ease someone's suffering whilst they are ill or needing support means that they needed just love through that process. It does not mean that it stayed them from death. It does not mean that death wouldn't come for them as it comes for all eventually, as it would come for all of them. And I can see that, that I understand that they were just trying to act according to self-preservation. Mm -hmm. I forgive them. But in that moment, in that moment, they took from you your peace. They brought forth fear. They took from you your power. Go ahead and ask them to give you back that power that they stole from you that is affecting your soul. Demand it back. I demand, I decree, I call back my power now. Take it. Breathe it in. Take back that confidence in yourself, in your wisdom, in your ability to heal, not only with your hands, with your soul, but with your words. Take back all of that that they stole from you by inflicting fear and pain. Take it all back. And as you have that power back, I want you to look at that body with its head so heavy. I want you to use your light to begin to bring back that body into its natural form, confident again, being able to lift your head up high, to be able to look at the people through clear eyes, through the eyes of love, everything that you taught, through your wisdom. And you could see all of them and be able to forgive them. And when you do, I'd like for you to go ahead and take that soul into the light, accompanied by that being of light. And as you take that soul into the light, you can now communicate with that being and understand what that lifetime was all about. Why did you need to live through such contrast? To know creation was to know destruction. Mm -hmm. To know life was to know death. Mm -hmm. And to know fear and pain was to know love and faith and joy. And to understand that with the wisdom and the peace, that some also are going to manipulate it, are going to use it for their own gains. But to also understand that that shouldn't stop, that shouldn't inhibit the truth. And that the truth and the wisdom will always be sustained. Mm -hmm. If it is with love. Very good, so with that truth and wisdom, I'd like for you to go ahead and disconnect yourself from that lifetime, knowing that with the death of that body, that experience is over. With the end of that experience, it no longer affects you in the lifetime of Elise or any others that are living through the same type of life. And as you disconnect from that, we're going to go once again 
to a time in which you felt that same panic. I'm going to count from one to three when I get to number three. Allow your soul to take you wherever it is that it needs to heal. One, two, and three. Where are you? It's just chaos. Mm -hmm. Where are you? It feels like we are in the depths of We're like in the depths of space. Mm -hmm. Very, very far away. But there's just complete chaos. There's beings in various vessels. Mm -hmm. And there are very They're just a very diverse groups here. It's like a great bat battle of mm -hmm. some kind. Do you have a body there? No. Mm -hmm. So tell me what, what it is that you do in this chaos. What is your role? It's like a consciousness that is trying to mediate. Mm -hmm. Mediate the destruction or at least help those of which I am responsible for assisting. Mm -hmm. My body, I have a body, it's not a corporeal body, it's not a physical body. Mm -hmm. It's like a con body of consciousness. Okay. And who are you responsible for mediating? Uh, they are stellar systems that are in alignment with cosmic law. Tell me more. Those that are seeking to salvage and consecrate and recover life to be sequestered and protected mm -hmm. for preservation. Okay. <clears throat> what has happened that has caused this battle? There has been a, a rip in time space and mm -hmm. It appears as if there are beings that abide other laws have come in and are seeking to uh, cultivate and take life energy and beings for in accordance with their beliefs. Mm -hmm. And this rip, who has done this? What type of beings are they? from a different universe. They oh. are anti-life. Okay. So explain what it is that they're doing in this universe where you are. It is like a layer of events that is beyond the physical. It's as if we're trying to monitor and mediate the effects through all dimensional layers because of the events that are occurring on more physical denser planes of consciousness mm -hmm. and so we're trying to disrupt them at a different layer which they cannot access in which to 
just reduce the damage. We can't completely cease what is occurring, but we can try to balance, create balance. Okay, how many are you that are doing this? Uh, there are, it's, there's no numeric for it. It's like thousands upon thousands mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of beings of creation. And do you have any specific skills We're like architects of consciousness. Okay. Architects of uh, the structure of consciousness within the universe. Mm -hmm. Good. So tell me what happens. We're trying to isolate them to various star systems. <clears throat> just to ensure that they're not incriminating on areas that they will get out of control, but they have their own technology. So we're just trying to orient respectively so that how it translates through all layers of dimensionality, it's harmonious. Very good. And these beings that you are assisting, do they have a form? Yes, yeah, some of them, some of them do. Some are beings of light. Some mm -hmm. are entire groups and collectives of consciousness without form. Yes. But a lot of them have physical corporeal extensions of their higher aspects, their soul aspects. Okay. And are they on a physical plane or are they just in space? There are, it's like we're seeing it from a dimensional level. There's no such thing as downwards or okay. upwards, but we're perceiving it as if through time and space as if through a 360 uh, perspective and at the center there's more density. So yes, there are more physical expressions of that battle. Okay, very good. So let's close that scene. I'm going to count to three and you're going to advance to when something very important happens in which you are involved. One, two, <coughs> and three. What's happened? <coughs> it's like my throat, something's happening. It's like I'm being attacked. Mm -hmm. See it in slow motion so that you know who is attacking you. What is attacking you? One of these beings at a very advanced level is coming at my throat from the left. Mm -hmm. And they're, it's like there are literally tentacles ripped reaching out and grabbing my throat and throwing me into a different time stream and into a density that I have to become physical so they can <coughs> and then I I can't fly now I'm I feel like I'm trapped where and are you I'm trapped heavier it's like a, a it's like I'm in a different dimension now Mm -hmm. Do you have a form now? Yes. What do you look like? Um, it looked like this before. It just didn't, it wasn't physical. It's like, I look like a dragon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I look like a dragon. Yes. <laughs> well, there's many different types of dragons. What do you look like? <coughs> the, yes, it's, my skin is emerald and emerald and gold and pale amethyst. Mm -hmm. Are you able to fly? No, I can't fly now. Mm -hmm. There are others. I can hear the others talking to me, but I can't. I can't. They're not hearing me back. 
Yes, what's happened to you? It's like the telepathic connection is only one way now. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> this thing has poisoned me. It's like they've stuck some sort of false code into... It's like a vi like a like a software of some sort. It's like mm -hmm. a a dart that's in my throat that's just poisoning me slowly. Yes. So what happens next? I just feel myself fading. I'm getting really heavy, very very heavy, mm -hmm. so heavy that I can't open my eyes. I mm -hmm. can't move. My breathing is slowing. And I'm just feeling really panicked and trapped. Mm -hmm. And it's like I can feel my life force draining from me. And like my, th it's like my, I'm bleeding. It's like I'm bleeding out, but it's not any fluid. It's like literally my life force draining mm -hmm. from my neck. <coughs> so tell me what happens now. Uh, we go into a fail safe. We, um, the aspect of our consciousness that it's like a riptide into this space, this spatial plane is released. It's in the heart chamber. It opens and it's like that fragment of the soul which powers this body, this vessel exits and then leaves kind of like a soul leaving a body mm -hmm. <clears throat> so up until this point what's been the most difficult part of all of this the helplessness mm -hmm. and the knowing that it would have been easier to just let go i was fighting i don't know why i was fighting So I'd like for you now to go back to that moment. But this time, you're going to fight. You're going to do the opposite. I'm going to count from three to one. And this time you will stand up for yourself. This time you will fight. Three, two, and one. What's happening? I just evade it. Mm -hmm. I see it before it happens and I mm -hmm. evade it. Mm -hmm. And I shift completely to a point where they cannot see or hear me or even sense me. Mm -hmm. And I'm free and I can continue. Very good. And it's a split second. Mm -hmm. So in that split second, I'd like for you to take back all of the power that you lost in the other time space. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Take it all back. Knowing that you have this ability to shift so that it doesn't affect you. So when others come towards you, you don't need to get wrapped up in their energy and get drained. You can access this energy at any time. Breathe it in stronger. knowing that there's nothing to fear. That you have all of the abilities to help others in times of chaos. And you have the ability to shift into other time space. Keeping your power, keeping your abilities And as you feel this power, I'd like for you to go ahead and bring yourself back to a moment in time 
in which a similar chaos is in the life of Elise. And this time, you could see yourself with that power. Yes, we should go to the toilet. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to number three, you'll open your eyes, go to the toilet. When you come back, you'll go back down even deeper. One, two, and three. Eyes open. Okay, when you're ready, just take a very deep breath in for me. And as you begin to breathe deeply, I want you to feel yourself sinking down, down deeper, deeper still as if you're going down into an opening. And as you go deeper and deeper, you'll see a portal in front of you. This portal takes you into the future the future of Elise. I'd like for you to describe this portal for me. What does it look like to you? It appears like a very deep blue. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's sort of hollow. Mm -hmm. So as you get closer to this portal, you'll feel a magnetic pull towards it knowing that you're safe and as it takes you through the portal you'll begin to see yourself going into the future going through time space to a moment in time in your current lifetime in which something important is happening and you'll be able to see the year what year is this? 2025. Mm -hmm. Notice where you are. I am. Hmm. Looks like I'm in a place I've never been before. It's like mm -hmm. nature, but I don't know this place. Yes, yeah, so and notice what it is that you're wearing, if you're by yourself or with others. Oh, there's, there are other people here. Mm -hmm. I seem to be wearing white. <laughs> yes. And notice what it is that you're doing in this place in nature with the others. There's like a group of people, we're sitting in a circle. Mm -hmm. There's about 20, 24 people here. Yes. And what is your role? I'm speaking. Mm -hmm. I want you to notice how it is that you feel as you're speaking to these. I'm feeling the energy through my body. Mm -hmm. Everything is incredibly peaceful. Yes. And calm. So I'd like for you to just memorize that feeling of peacefulness as the others listen to you, feeling their respect. Feeling your wisdom as it flows through you. Knowing that you've been in this position before. Where you were responsible for giving them wisdoms. Passing down information from the ancients. Knowing that you are now aligned. Notice how that feels. The heart is open. Mm -hmm. Just feel lots of love. Yes. And notice as your heart is opening, 
feel the feeling of that song that comes to you. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do they receive it? Eyes are closed. Mm -hmm. Some have their arms open. Some are lying down. Some yes. are just seated. Mm -hmm. You can see tears shining. Very good. Is there anything else that you need to take from this moment in time? It's almost like I need to say to myself that everything is happening in the absolute timing it needs to. Mm -hmm. And that things are going to change now. How is it received? With faith. Mm -hmm. Very good. So with that, I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to number three, you will see yourself back in that portal, going to another time, moving forward in time, one, two, as you step through that portal, and three, you're there. Where are you? I'm it's like I'm walking through a garden. Mm hmm How old are you there? Feels like I'm much older now. Mm hmm I don't know. Um My hair isn't brown anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. What year is this? See it in your mind. I don't know how. <laughs> 2067? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not possible. <laughs> What's happening? I'm walking to a tree and there's a seat that I like to sit by. Mm -hmm. And I'm just sitting here, listening to the earth and to the land. Mm -hmm. But in the distance, there appears to be other people. Yes. It looks like. It's like an open garden and there's an area here that's very open and I can see people walking up with blankets and rugs and then placing them in front now mm -hmm. and then taking seats. It feels like my home though. So yes. they're obviously coming here. They're not family. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel with all of these people coming to you? Just peace and mm -hmm. gratitude and love and just happy that they're here. Very good. Just happy to see their beautiful faces. Mm -hmm. Some of them are coming to hug me and someone presses something into my hand. It looks like flowers. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Good. So while you're in this place, You've gained a lot of wisdom with all of the years that you've lived. And you could look back at that moment in time in 2023 when Elise was so worried about being exposed, feeling panicky. What advice do you give, give her with your wisdom? It's 
it's only just beginning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's nothing to be in fear of. It's mm. not. It's not the figure that I fear for. It's not the Elise mm -hmm. that needs to fear. It's simply what people fear in me. It's the potential. That's what I've been feeling. Mm -hmm. Some people have not wanted me to do things, to share things like that other lifetime as Aaron. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to give Elise advice on how it is that you became so successful and so wise. What did you do to expand yourself from 2023? Sharing the wisdom more. Going and sharing the teachings without with with love and with faith that those that will receive it will receive it and those mm -hmm. that will seek to grow and learn and prosper will discover the connection simply through what I share and I need, I need to share what I have been creating. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's been to heal me, but it will also heal others through it being pure, raw consciousness expressed in whatever form it takes, whether that's sound or writing. Um, the books mm -hmm. she writes a lot there are books and books and books that she could create from mm -hmm. everything but it will take time mm -hmm. good who is there assisting her with all of this Her family is of light, mm -hmm. the light teams, the Aurora creators, the original creators, mm -hmm. the ones that she she's connected to, that she she is merely an extension of. Mm -hmm. Good. Is there any other advice you would like to give her before we have her leave that portal? To keep her heart open and that the heaviness she has carried for a very long time. She doesn't have to carry it anymore. Mm -hmm. She thought it was something wrong with her, but it's actually just something she's carried. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to go ahead and find that heaviness that's been carried for so long. And I'd like for you to just place it in a safe spot where no one will find it and carry it. Just release it and let it go. Where is this heaviness? Through your chest. Very good. Tell me when you've taken all that heaviness out. Yes. Very good. So now that that heaviness is out, can you forgive yourself for holding on to this for so long? Yes. All right. Let's replace that heaviness with something that you could use in the future, something that could help you and others as you serve. What would you like to put in that space where that heaviness was? 
life mm -hmm. life energy good bring it in fill that space make it stronger expand it out to every cell of your body and as you're expanding that light I'm going to count from one to five with each number you'll be walking out of that portal stepping out back into the body releasing all of those lifetimes that you've lived releasing all of those experiences knowing that that will no longer affect you that you can now have that heart filled with life force being able to put yourself out there in front of the world without fear without panic knowing that whatever you put out there is to be received with love and sent with love one coming back now to the sound of my voice five wide awake completely alert feeling wonderful all over welcome back <laughs> what a journey oh my goodness me <laughs> <laughs> wow alba wow whoa <laughs> a little different than last time yes but profound profound um it's always powerful it's just yeah. distinct each time with whatever's needed and yeah yeah did it make gosh, sense to you so much so much all at once yes it, yes it does i did not expect any of that <laughs> like i mean like there's no expectation but it's just again that feeling of everything flowed so quickly this time it, it was almost so quick i was like barely registering it um <laughs> and i wasn't where... rushing through i mean we you went no. deep into the stuff no, there's no rushing not at all <laughs> oh my gosh my body was like i was through especially the first memory yeah. my body was vibrating so i was like <laughs> trying to keep really still not that i'm yeah it's just wow and feeling quite raw right now but it's like the transformation is it's yeah it's beautiful it's really beautiful thank you yeah you did great like always <laughs> so i uh, just yeah it's amazing how vivid the, it was very like, vivid i mean being crucified was that pretty first vivid moment alba i might <laughs> I might sit up now. Yeah. Um, that first moment was almost so. It was like at me mm -hmm. before I could even register mm -hmm. the detail. Like yeah. I could feel my arms and I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. oh no. This is like the. Yeah. yeah and the the pain like the actual pain because i've been getting it before today and you know well that's why your you know your head is as is as heavy as a bowling ball i mean it's you it know our heads sense. are really heavy and you know you are holding that weight and it seems that that's what the neck pain was all about i know it's just yeah and then actually then the nausea that was coming as well was really intense but um mm -hmm. it's, it's it's not there anymore thankfully thank you so much it's just the relief is immense yeah, yeah. a little bit different um, than before huh yeah but it's good again it's all good it's just um yeah it's beautiful really um because again just getting to the core of it which was again like you've we've been talking is like just the essence of like what, how you feel mm -hmm. through those memories is like it's what's going on as well mentally it's what I've really felt and what about the rip in time 
I know. It was like, what is this? It was like my human mind was like, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, how do I? <laughs> but then it's not me. It's articulating it. And you can't really, and there's no point trying to. But yeah. um, the the beings, are, it was even, I didn't describe what I was seeing, but it was, wow. And the fact it was all sort of occurring multidimensionally as well, I think yeah. that's what I was trying to grasp when I was seeing it because it's like some things were happening with my experience and then some things were happening within the experience of those that it's like I got dragged down mm -hmm. through a kind of like pocket and then from that point it was like now I'm vulnerable and now you're a dragon now I'm <laughs> a dragon <laughs> what <laughs> I know it was like that couldn't fly get? They couldn't fly and my, like, it was like my neck was severed. Like, that's what it wow. felt like. That's why I, when I was coughing, I was like, what is this? Um, mm -hmm. You know, and you're always intuitively picking up and like exactly what needs to be asked. Thank, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, so do we want to share like, this? Uh, mm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you feel, it's, if you feel, it was, yeah. It was amazing. What do you want to call it? It could just be the wisdom of the ancients because that was essentially like the whole point. Yeah. Wasn't it? Um, the wisdom of the ancients. I don't know. That sounds good. Um, at least that's more general, but yeah, I'm happy. I'll defer to you always. The wisdom of the ancients. Okay. That's what's came. That's what came to you. Yeah. That's just what came to me now. Okay. Good. I was like, I was like, I'm back now. <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> like, I know, I know. <gasps> well, we got to get you back because that's why I talked to you. How long do you think it was? An hour, maybe. Felt like an hour. Right now we're like. Wow. Okay. No, <laughs> did no. It it always feels, but it's not in a in a way that it's like as you know as we said, it's not rushed or anything. It's just no. This, so much content like there's so much that's being remembered and there's so much that's arising out through the experience of it it's just that's what it feels like yeah yeah um, it's nice and efficient and compact and beautiful in that sort of way uh, just yeah so at least since we're going to publish this tell everybody what you do because obviously you're not like your typical um client um, uh, I'm an energy worker, uh, predominantly that's why I specialize in energy healing. I'm also serve through planetary grid work. Um, I do that for clients as well. Um, but, um, I'm now teaching online and that's sort of taking up my focus and sharing information, wisdom, teachings, my studies and accumulated information that I'm guided to share. So, yeah, so workshops and things online and, and that's good. Sort of thing. So, and if anybody person, wants so. to find you, how do they find you if oh, they're interested? More, yeah, sure. As I have a website, it's mm -hmm. um, it's now auroraharmonics.com. Ah. Um, and that's been a reflection of some changes in my journey. Um, mm -hmm. And that's now the sort of foundation of everything of which I'm creating from. And yeah, they just, you can email me and contact me through the website. It's fairly straightforward Great. that way. And you are in Australia. I am in Australia. I do in-person work here, but mostly online. Mostly online. Well, this is our third session. It is. Yeah, it is the third session. It's amazing yeah. it's because when I send out the newsletter to, to those that are down under, um, it goes out to everybody, but... Um, You've know. been able to snag. I don't know. I have snag one three years in a row. So, well, as I tend to uh, shout out to my mother, who's my mum, is the one that put me onto you, yeah. Alba. Ah. She's the one that follows your videos. Mm. Is she's the one that says to me, like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "I don't know. I just it's I actually don't click unless I feel yeah. guided, and usually when yep. I click, I just get an." A session so but what I found with you Alba is that I'll go through massive upgrades and then I'll mm. be on the very verge of something another shift and then we'll connect and you've helped yeah. me through all of that especially the last few years it's been 
really yeah pivotal in my journey yeah. so yeah more than anything thank you and and you know that you know as as healers as we, as we are each one doing their own thing we're evolving too Excellent. so as we evolve we are now a vibrational match to those who are needing that new um not that new part of us you know that new yeah. evolved part of us it's yeah. amazing it's amazing. I've really found that over the last few years and you know, mm -hmm. people might move on to other things and then new people come in a lot of, a lot of, yeah, a lot of beautiful connections at the moment um, yeah. with souls and a lot of people who are really wanting to contribute. And yeah. Help yeah. Themselves. To serve. It's like to, to serve. serve. Yeah. To serve. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's been such a pleasure again. Yes. Yes. And uh, for those of you who want a session with me, just go to my website, albawyman.com, and you sign up for the newsletter. The newsletter comes out once a month, and I have links for sessions uh, on that newsletter. For those who live down under, I put out a separate newsletter just for them because these sessions are done in the evening for me, and it's morning for them. So uh, that's that's what happens with the newsletter. So thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Until the next one. Thanks a lot. See you then. Bye.